come to bless your holy name every day is a miracle waking us up alone even this morning is a miracle lord we didn't take it for granted we've come to appreciate you lord for celebration of life blessed be god and blessed be god thank you for our online viewers thank you lord for those who are connected already thank you lord for you are set to do a new thing this month for us our eyes is on you blessed be god in jesus name amen hallelujah to the lamb of god praise jesus I, I i could remember what in the book of chronicles joshua's uh like um joshua says our eyes is on you there are certain things that will make one to be afraid and i say lord are you sure i can still make it are you sure i can be relevant to my generation are you sure lord because i i, I can't really I connect these two dots together between success and failure um, but Joshua said, but our, our eyes is on you. When fear seems to creep into your life, I say to, your, to, to, to yourself that I put my trust in him. Our eyes is on him, Lord. Hallelujah. Now this month of August, deliberately will be looking on the message that will encourage us to actually uh, walk in the positive line to make sure our heart does not waver, does not shake. And so this uh, uh, day again, this Sunday morning, I'll be preaching on the message title, I must enter Jericho. I must enter Jericho. Now, I will be taking my test on the book of Joshua, chapter 6, verse 1. You see, now Jericho was strictly shut down, shut up. Now Jericho, that means something happened before. Now Joshua, now this time Joshua have taken uh, the, the leadership from, from, from Moses, the baton have been handed over to him. And look as if the more they move, the more the enemy is confronting them. And but God begins to speak to Joshua, saying, Now Jericho was strictly shut off because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, even though there's a barrier, it says, See. You may not be able to see your, your future, but God can see what's going to happen. You, you may look as if the future is blank. You may look as if this is not working, but God says, see. I know you are tired right now. I know all this is not, what this is not working the way you expect, but see. I've given to you Jericho. And I've given unto thy hand Jericho's and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor. Now, but the king of Jericho, that the one who lay a barricade, that no one was says Jericho. Now, how can you say you've given me Jericho and the king thereof? Where well, we are trying to peep into Jericho, but they won't allow us. There was a fence that even five chariots can climb on the fence, and the fence will not, will, not, will not shake. But you are telling me, God, that you've given to me Jericho. Now Jericho in this context could be a barrier between us and our breakthroughs. Jericho could be in a barrier between us and our testimony. Jericho could be in a barrier between us and that would be longing for. That they look as if we find it difficult to assess it. And he's saying to us, saying to you this morning, that see, I've given to you Jericho. You must enter Jericho. That testimony that I've been hanging for so long, you must enter Jericho. That breakthrough that be hanging for so long, you must enter Jericho. That delay is too long, it's too long. Today we're going to break the barrier of that delay. You must enter Jericho. Now when you enter Jericho, you see, the Bible didn't tell us that Joshua actually entered Jericho and settled and dwell in Jericho. So Jericho was a place they need to pass through. Jericho Abor, uh, things they need. Jericho had a little resources they need. And the king held on to them, said, we are not going to give up, we are not going to release it. Because when you shall come with this man, they will take this from us. And God reminded him. He said, the way I was with Moses, so I will be with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. The battle to enter Jericho is a rescue mission. Not just to gain an access for Jericho, but it's a rescue mission to rescue people. God is about to rescue someone right now. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. I hear it is about to rescue someone right now. I don't know where you are right now, but God is about to rescue you from that place. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, when they said Jericho was strictly shut that no one goes in, no one comes in, it's been there have been people that have been suffocated. Yeah. You see, imagine you, you hold your breath. You're not breathing, you're not breathing now. The person made that. So a city that was in a siege, no one is going out, no one is coming in. After some time, some days or more, they will run out of resources, no matter how worthy that city is. So, so the devil have put it in the, uh, in the hand of the king that no one leave Jericho. We're going to stay in Jericho until we die. But who are you going to die? Who are you going to die with? The enemy is a liar. And so God began to prepare Joshua to go and want him to mission to go and rescue those in Jericho that they cannot move. Then they try to, to take the word of the land of Jericho. So when I say you must uh, enter Jericho, that means you must possess the land. Joshua's leadership was full of wars and battles when he took the baton from, from Moses. He see, see, anywhere he goes, he was fighting war, fighting wars, taking territories, conquering. And look at what he said in verse 4, in verse 3. And yes, now this is instruction, specific instruction. Life got to do with instruction. You see, if you are living a life callously without no uh, instruction, no rules, you're going to die. It's danger. Even when you're driving on the road, there's a rule. When you see the robot, if you say red, you need to stop. There's a stop sign, you need to stop. So it has rules. Life has rules. A time to wake up, a time to sleep. Now, in an year shall come past the city, all ye men of war, and go run about it, the city once. So shall they do seven days. Instruction, six days. Instruction, divine instruction. Now, why did God say, compass the city six days, but don't make any noise? But Joshua with his army, they came with a lot of, uh, with, came with the army, with a of ammunition to make sure they can hit the wall. But God said, no, follow my instruction. Where we follow the instruction of God, we we'll get to our destination quicker. When, they, when we follow the instruction of God, men begin to follow us. When we follow the instruction of God, we begin to see light at the end of the tunnel. In verse 4, look at it. Look at it now. And seven priests shall be up before thee and the ark. Seven priests. So this battle, this assessing Jericho, got to do with peace, not the, the priest. The priest and the prophet. It is not a manpower. It is not how strong you are. Seven priests. You see, you need this thing to assess where God has promised you. And seven priests shall bear before the ark, seven trumpet of ram's horns. And the seventh day ye shall compare the city seven times. And, this, and the priest shall blow the trumpet. The priest shall blow the trumpet. The conquering of Jericho could not be a physical battle or spiritual. Um, and that is why God gave them a specific instruction that the priest must blow the trumpet. Hallelujah. Now, in that verse 4, it talks about the priest. And the, 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 the works of the priest is to proclaim what God has said. So, you don't carry the ark of God without his presence. It says, it says they will carry the ark of God, talking about the presence of God. The ark of God talks about the presence, his presence. No wonder Moses says, if your presence will not go with us, suffer does not to go. It is the presence of God that guarantees us victory. The presence of God terrifies our enemies. The presence of God brings glory to, uh, of God to us. You see, now the ark of God, you don't say anything. It is represent the presence of Yahweh in our life. If you need to succeed, you need to carry the presence of God. Don't allow your presence to leave. Don't allow your presence to leave. David was saying, I go forward up. Where are you to see your prison, but I cannot be held back. What I cannot, you need his presence. Anyone who lacks the presence of God, his glory is removed. 
Jericho is a play that you need to assess and get that that belong to you. There are certain battles that you cannot win by your physical strength. No, you cannot. Those are ancient battles. You cannot win. People who, are, who have gone ahead of you, they try to fill their physical strength and say, I'm going to work hard. Have you seen people? You see, success is going to do, I thank God for working hard, hard work. Well, success is not, maybe success is about, I can say about 20% hard work. Then remaining 80% is going to do with the mercy and the grace of God. You see, it's not of him that will, it's not of him that will, but of him that show up mercy. No matter how you work hard, if God did not complement your effort, the effort is in vain. So we need to say, oh God, show me mercy, show me favor. Favor of God is better, a one day favor with God is better than one month hard work. Favor with God. When God had to remember Mephibosheth, Mephibosheth had been there, but the day came that the favor of God came upon Mephibosheth and he called Ziba, David called Ziba, see, is there anyone that will favor, uh, 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 is anyone that is in house of Saul that will favor for Jonathan's sake? Is he yet? Jonathan's grandson is there, Mephibosheth, favor of God. Favor bring God before the kings. Favor makes our, our destiny help uh, to, to help us without knowing what they, what, 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 why they don't want to help us. They are just, I don't know why I want to help him. It is the favor of God. You need to step uh, uh, outside the boss and begin to ask the Lord, Lord, I don't want to just my mind want to zero on my hard work alone. I need your favor. I need your mercy. I need your grace. Hallelujah. I must enter Jericho. When God is on your side, I'm telling you, things will turn around for good. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now look at verse 5. And ye shall come to pass that when ye make a long glass with the ram's horns, and ye, sh and ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout. Hallelujah. So we must, underst we must actually understand that when we will follow the instruction of God, our destiny will not be destroyed. Rather, we will get to the level where God will celebrate God. We will celebrate God in our life. You need to step outside and seek God so that He can be on your side. Jericho war was not ordinary war. It was not an ordinary war. That you can see that, that this ordinary war that the Buddha said can just put those. No, it is beyond that. The Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty true God to the pulling down of strongholds. There are strongholds you don't need, you cannot use your physical strength to pull down. There are some battles you don't need to go physical and begin to, and begin to fight. In verse 5, and it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the, with, with the ram horns, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout. And the walls of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Instruction. Every man straight. You need to go around and say, when you enter, go and begin to take that you need to, need to take. <laughs> and verse 6, And Joshua, the son of Nun, called the priests, and said unto them, Take up the axe of the covenant, and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram, Come before the acts of the Lord. You need in your life, you need a prophet, you need a priest. Prophets are the mouthpiece of God. Prophets speak a word and that, that God actually confirms confirm the word. So when I say you need to enter Jericho, those old ancient powers, those powers that that have delayed your breakthrough, that delay you of not assessing that you need to, uh, you, you, where you need to get to. You need God to actually clear it away by sending a prophet. The battle of lies is always a role of a prophet to come and speak and the priesthood to come and speak. So if you don't have anyone speaking on your behalf, I am telling you, life will be difficult. So I say, well, I don't need the, I don't need the prophet, I don't need the pastor, I don't, I, 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 I'm not. No, you cannot be on your own. There's a rule. There's a rule. 
whether you are a president, you must have a priest speaking over your head. You must have a prophet speaking over your head. Hallelujah. You must enter Jericho. Jericho was strictly shut down. These are demonic powers. So that people there will not get married, they will not get their business, they will not get everything they need. But the devil is a liar. You see, life could, could be challenging at times. Even as a pastor, life could be challenging. But you get to a point and say, Lord, how long am I going to wait? This fence is too high for me to assess my breakthrough, for me to assess that that belongs to me. Oh, Lord, how long will I wait? And that's what troubled minds. How long will I wait? Especially when you begin to look at your maid that have gone ahead of you and say, Lord, is this life fair? I want to enter Jericho, but look, I see something is holding me down. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. And I trust the Lord as we enter Jericho this day, your possession will be given to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Before you can enter Jericho, you need, to pro you need the proclamation of a prophet. Hallelujah. You need the proclamation of a prophet. Praise Jesus. Now, I begin to read from verse uh, 7. And he said unto the, unto the people, Pass on, and pass on, uh, uh, and come the city, and let him that is uh, pass before the acts of the Lord. Now, it is not that strength that is going to bring this, it's the, it's the, it's the presence of the Lord, the act of the Lord. And it came to pass, when Joshua has spoken unto the people, that the seven priests bearing the uh, seven trumpet of ram's arms, Pass on before the Lord and blew the trumpet and the ark of the covenant of the Lord. Follow them. Jesus knows all about our struggle. He will guide you the days. Oh, yes, not a friend like a lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. I tell you, you see, God knows your struggles. Jesus knows what you are going through. You know there's a hindrance for you to enter Jericho. You know there's a barrier ahead of you. He knows that your family, your, your father, father, your mother, your, your, your pattern of mother, like they fought the battle, but they couldn't win. He knows that. But what I'm telling you this morning, if you can actually invite Jesus into your boat, that this Jericho that must assess Jericho, my my blessing have been tighter. You see, there are Asian, Asian powers in your family who did not your breakthrough. That no one could assess. It's like Jericho. A family, some family, nobody, nobody will ever be a millionaire. They will just struggle, 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 and they go. As in some family, some people will have, you married, have a lot of children, but no money. You need to enter Jericho with the power of God. Now, let me continue my reading and, um, and look at the instruction that was given to say, and the story say, and Joshua rose up early in the morning, and the priests took up the axe of the Lord, and seven priests bearing seven trumpet ram horns before the axe of the Lord went and continually and blew with the trumpet, and the armed men went before them, and the uh, and the reward came after the ark of the Lord of the priests going on and blowing with the trumpet, and in verse forty say, and the second day, they come past the city once and return unto Cam. So they did seize this. Now it made no sense. You want to fight your enemy, say, don't, don't shoot them, don't even shout. Just begin to move around them, move around them. Nobody should make noise. It made no sense. You see, but when God's instruction is given to you, whether he makes sense or not, follow it. Follow it. Now the work of a prophet, prophet can give you instruction, say, when you go home, please uh, take water and just... Uh, say, call Jesus seven times and drink the water. Healing, healing will take. They say, oh, why is it? Is water a tablet medication? Is that the same case? Name, name, heart. They say, the, the, the prophet say, go and dip yourself in the river seven times. Say, why must I dip myself in the river? The instruction of God initially may not make sense, but when you follow it, I guarantee you, it brings result. God knows your struggles. He has, in fact, as a matter, we're about to finish. Uh, uh, at the end of uh, 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 August now, by next month, September, October, November, December, you are getting close to December. You say, Lord, will you die remember me? But well, this is a word from you. Thou shall rise and have mercy upon Zion. For the set time to favor have come. 
9 verse, verse 15 and it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose up early about this, uh, the, the dawn of the, of the day and compared the city after the same manner they keep doing the same thing every day seven times only on the that day they come past the city seven times and it came to pass as the seventh uh time when the priest blew the trumpet joshua said unto the people shout now now it's time for you to enter jericho shout now instruction for the lord have given you the city a big war like that shout now only shall we bring the word down. It is, do you hear me? It is not their shouting that brought the word down. It is the instruction they followed. And the angel was already there trying to prepare to bring the word down. They just need to give God's glory. Today you need to give God's glory. When we give God the glory, his blessing comes down. And it came to pass, verse 16, it came to pass on the seventh, seventh time when the priest blew the trumpet. Jesus said unto the people, shout, for the Lord has given you the city, and the city shall be a cause, even it, and all that therein, to the, uh, all that therein, to the Lord, only Rahab, the harlot, shall live. Did you see that? A woman was spotted out, shall live. She and all that are with her in the house, because she had the messenger that he sent. Don't think when you are actually dealing with the servant of God, abusing them, criticizing them, don't think you are helping God. You're not helping God. This is Rehab. She heard the, 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 uh, the, 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 the messenger of God. And only her and her household lives. Question you're asking us around of today. Why the fight to enter Jericho? Why can't God just bless me here? It is not everywhere that God can bless you. There is a place specifically God send, will send it to. Are you saying that God is not everywhere? God is everywhere. But there are places your work may be. There are Americans today who are coming to Africa and become so rich. There are Chinese who are coming to Africa and become so rich. Yet there are some Africans who are going to Europe, going to America, and they become so rich. You need to ask the Lord, Lord, where is the place that you need to take me to? That I can assess my what assess my, my, great, my greatness. As we bow our heads down to pray, you're going to ask the Lord, say, Lord, open my eyes. Begin to speak to me. Show me, who, oh Lord, how I will enter my Jericho. Where I can get peace of mind. Where I can get that I've been longing for. Lord, my Jericho, God, will not fall down flat. It must open on, I must assess it. That land A fight for Jericho is a fight for survivor. A fight for Jericho is a fight to God for recognition. A fight for Jericho is a fight for influence and affluence. Lord, my God, I must enter my Jericho. I must enter my Jericho. My breakthrough God must come. My desire must come. Man to liba raga tali ke sunan to la bros. Jile le bro do kususa kabanansi le koti nande ya. Jile le mbro to lombra da hasusa kota le la manda haya. Ki kata la la bro de ke le bro do kosuta ke mene. I must enter Jericho. I must enter Jericho. No devil will hold me down. Man to libro do kususaba. My testimony must come this new week I've entered. Begin to pray that let O Lord bring my testimony. Bring my testimony. The place of peace cannot hold me down anymore. Ma kashula kapara na kasata. Kiruza la la bro de kilese pina haya. Endo libro na kasuse ku kapara da la kala kibi. Rusi se kibi rikete kala bruhojad. Jesus, oh Jesus, begin to just ask the Lord, say, Lord, open up the doors this way for me. Open up my doors, open up my doors, open up my doors, open up my doors. Open up my doors, open up my doors, my doors are breakthroughs. Open it up for me, O God, open up for me, O God. Mankashi kataba. Blessed be God. In the name of Jesus. Now, before we just round off, if you don't know Jesus, we want to give you a opportunity to, to give a letter to Jesus. We need God in this end time we are. God. I'm going to say, dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, and I've come to you today to all my sin, all the love of my sin. I say, wash me with blood as I clothe this word of sin. <clears throat> Write my name in the book of life. I confess it to my mouth 
and my heart believe that you died and rose up again on the third day triumphant. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I thank you. Bless your name for this one you've saved. Hallowed your name for Jesus. Thank you because you did so for me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now our, our details are going to scroll on the screen at our emails or, or, or our website. You can just go there and send us uh, our numbers there. Send us other uh, WhatsApp message that you give your life to Christ. So we'll send you some materials and let go through. And if there's someone you're watching me, you're having a toothache, you're having a toothache, this side of your, is it, is this mola or mola, this side is, it's like it's, you can't really choose, it's very swelling. Lord, I decree you God healing upon that body right now, in the name of Jesus. You are a woman, healing upon that body right now, in the name of Jesus, healing, 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 in the name of Jesus, so shall it be, in the name of Jesus. Lord, anyone that's watching me right now, that uh, that they desire healing desperately, desire restoration desperately. Lord, I decree and declare, restore them back, restore their head back, restore their word back, rest restore their glory back in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my God and my Father, for they will testify. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. What a day. Amen. Uh, just like uh, yesterday, the month of September is running so fast to an end. Uh, the month of August is running so fast to an end. And we're interested in but don't worry the joy will be full we want to take our offering today whatever you're watching me from you can give your offering but we're going to have, have put our banking details on the screen of some patient right now you have the one in south africa the standard bank you have the one in nigeria some part of west africa they use guarantee trust bank uh yeah take advantage of those banking details and uh, give your offering but if you don't live in this region you can uh, also give just go to our website and go to a portal called donate follow the instruction and drop offering as we receive your offering, we have a current. Let's pray for your offering. Father, we thank you, bless your name, for the offering of your people. Lord, that giving no God upon the doors of victory for them in the name of Jesus. Nothing, no God, will stop oh God the harvest in the name of Jesus. You are blessed forever in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Uh, the service were, uh, is uh, coming to our end right now for today. But remember that our books are in Amazon. To get our books in Amazon, Roku, Google uh, Play Books. You could get our books there. Uh, pick any title you want. You can even buy all of them. Just read. And I believe God, as you read, you're going to see some testimony written on this book. They're going to encourage you to win the battle of life. There's a new book we have now, A Battle for Destiny. The Lord bless you as you pick up this book in the name of Jesus. Let us know in the comment section how we could actually serve you as a ministry. Uh, well, and then uh, to share this telecast, let us know uh, uh, how this mess has been a blessing to you. Remember, there's a sign of no matter what matters, know that the same God is still at work in your life. We'll see you again in the next telecast. And I said to you, Church, God bless you. Hallelujah. <laughs>